melt modifier. The melt modifier is used to make it look like a realistic melting effect on objects. So I am going to go up and I'm going to create a cylinder. And I'm going to place a cylinder in here and I'll, I'll place a, a tall cylinder in here. Bam! There's my cylinder. All right. So now I'm going to go over to modify and I'm going to go into my modifier list and I'm going to go down and choose the melt modifier. In the parameters of the melt modifier I have the amount. So I'll just throw in say 40 for our amount. So you can see how the amount of uh, melt is considered here. So the higher the number, the more it's melting. Okay. Now we can have the spread. How far out is it spreading out? If think of this as a candle. How far is this thing spreading out? By default, it puts 19 there. If I say 50, that means it's pushing outwards. 50% 50, uh, 50 of it's being pushed outwards. So if I change this to 75%, it's really being melted. Okay. So if I just go to say 20%. Um, it's not very much melted. The solidity is the default is ice. Now the solidity is really the uh, relative height of the center of the melted object. So we have it kind of low here for ice. Glass it'd be kind of higher, uh, so it doesn't melt as much. Jelly is going to melt really quickly, so it's the height of the relative center of the, is low for jelly and kind of with plastic. So if you want it to deform and have it lower, you want the jellies and plastics. If you want it fairly high, you want glass. In other words, the relative center of where the melted area is. Um, we do the axis to melt is in the Z, which is kind of common for this stuff. So this is used to make things look like it has melted. Um, so, you know, uh, if we have an object of any kind that's exposed to heat and it's melting like it's actually, you know, too hot and start the material starting to melt, this is what we want to do here and apply this melt uh, modifier to the object. So, and it can be any kind of an object. And so it's just a matter of how much melt you want. You can play with the values there and how much you really want to get that to melt, right? So a little or a lot. And then the percentage of spread is how far out it spreads out onto the table, like how far the candle is spreading out. And so if you choose a number like 50, it's really melted quite a bit. Um, so, uh, and if you have a really high number like 80, it's really kind of melting down quite a bit so the amount if I change that how much if I go up to like uh, 90 for example it's really melted a lot and it's spread out okay so solidity is really like just where the hull you know tough the material is the melt essentially and so uh, we can use this for any kind of uh, object uh, it's uh, just a realistic melting effect for all kinds of objects is our melt modifier.